probably like the eighth or ninth. Two more nervous, maybe yeah. just a little action, maybe. Like, he, general. The highly anticipated clash between Durban Tank Davis and Frank Martin for the LDBA Lightweight Championship is set to take place. Experts have started sharing their predictions, and we have gathered the best ones for you. Let's start with Teddy Atlas, a renowned analyst known for his accurate insights on his podcast, How Does Praise Davis, highlighting his exceptional abilities and dominance in the ring. He said, I don't think anyone beats Tank Davis. I think that much of Tank Davis, I don't think any of these guys beat Tank. I think he is that good. Atlas was impressed by Davis's calculated and precise hits. He commended Davis's ability to capitalize on opponents' mistakes while showcasing a blend of raw talent and technical expertise. He added he is that good of a puncher where he can't make a mistake, and he is that good of an athlete with pure talent and technical and cal skills in the ring. He finds a way to do what has to be done. Atlas concluded his analysis by praising Davis's strategic approach and tactical versatility. He noted that Davis could set traps and handle any challenge in the ring, adding he is patient. He is not just a seek and destroy missile. He takes little steps, sets traps. If needed and moves moves around, he'll find a key to the door. Trent Davis active on social media is virtually counting down the days to the fight. Teddy Atlas is not the only one in the boxing community impressed by Davis's skills and experience. Eddie Hearn, the CEO of Matchroom Boxing and a prominent figure in the sport, was also asked about the fight and his predictions. From promoters to coaches, everyone is backing Tank this time because they know he is on another level. Angels Boxing Club's coach and seasoned boxing mentor Red Byron gave a straightforward answer when asked about the fight. Yeah, good. I mean, it's all right. It's an easy fight for Tank, but Frank Martin's a good little fighter. You know, don't think he's going to do mad numbers, but... Um... Both fighters in the upcoming match are strong south boss. Red Byron, a seasoned boxing mentor, cautioned Frank Martin not to let his pride lead him into trying to brawl with Tank Davis, emphasizing it won't work. Burn highlighted Davis's underrated technical skills, noting Tank is celebrated for his power, but his precision and boxing ability are equally impressive. He can box well, not just punch. Coach Ellis issued a challenge to Frank Martin, urging him to prepare for Davis's strategies. We have to be ready for everything he does. Ellis emphasized expressing confidence in Davis's ability to handle any tactics. Martin brings Errol Spence Jura, a dominant welterweight has engaged in verbal exchanges with Finn Davis, raising expectations for a potential showdown. Another rival of Davis is Devin Haney, a top lightweight contender. Their rivalry stems from both fighters' ascent in the division, each vying for dominance. Haney has publicly critiqued Davis's opponents and shared his prediction on Davis's out against Frank Martin, stating, I think Tank beats him. While acknowledging Martin's determination, Haney highlights Martin's lack of experience at the elite level. He believes Martin will seek to prove himself, but ultimately sees Davis as the victor due to his experience and skills. Shacker Stevenson, another rising star and rival of Davis, discussed the upcoming fight in terms of experience differences and how starting earlier in boxing has shaped Davis into a formidable fighter. Next match, what you thinking? Why are you saying that shit so fast? Yeah. I mean, Kid Frank is good, but, you know. Shacker Stevenson briefly discussed the upcoming fight between Frank Martin and German Davis, emphasized his respect for Martin, and clarified that his comments were not intended to disrespect him. Stevenson pointed out Martin's late start in boxing and the significant experience gap compared to himself and Davis, suggesting it would be challenging for Martin to catch up regarding Martin's chances in the fight. Stevenson mentioned the slim possibility of a lucky punch, but doubted its effectiveness against Davis's skill level regarding the perception in the boxing world that Davis only fights a Opponents he thinks he can beat easily to preserve his reputation. Stevenson referenced Davis's decision to decline a $20 million offer from Eddie Led to fight. Devin Haney, George Mouse, a respected boxing analyst, shared his candid views on the upcoming fight between Driven Tank Davis and Frank Martin Mouse, believes Davis has a clear edge in the matchup. I'm not going to say it'll be easy, but I like Tank to win. Moose stated confidently expressing his belief in Van Davis's ability to secure a victory. He referenced a strategic move by Floyd Mayweather, describing it as a business strategy to ensure Davis remains a favorite. And despite this approach has led to Davis being matched against opponents, where he is expected to win, thus avoiding high-risk fights against equally talented competitors it's just levels like it's levels to the fight um tanky gonna go in there fill him out figure out that he's really not on his level and then he gonna annihilate him 
and feel like he's on top of the Greg Hackett commented briefly on the upcoming bout between Turbin Davis and Frank Martin, highlighting Davis's favorable predictions and tough skill level. Hackett acknowledged Martin's abilities and recognized the challenge of facing Davis on a big stage. He appreciated Martin's durability and boxing skills, but predicted an 80 to 20 chance in Davis's favor due to his proven record and knockout power. However, Hackett refrained from giving a specific prediction on when Martin might be stopped in the ring. I was about to say, probably a knockout, man. Like, probably if you got to go off track records, you know what I mean? CEO of Mayweather Promotions and a pivotal figure in Von Davis's career expressed his excitement about Davis's upcoming fight. I'm really excited to see Tank back in the ring on June 15th. This is what the entire world has been anticipating when he's going to get back in the ring. Herb shared it, enthusiastically continuing with confidence in Davis's ability. Herb emphasized the expectations for Davis to deliver a spectacular performance. Tank's the best in the game, and he'll be looking to go out there and put on a dominant electrifying performance come June 15th. Eller did when asked about the competition in the boxing market compared to Tay Eller asserted Davis's supremacy tanks the best of all, he declared confidently, and Tank has said it himself he's going to get each and every last one of these guys you believe he goes his whole career undefeated untouched, and cleans every going out 1000%, none of these guys can underscore underscore within none of David Benavides, a formidable contender in the super middleweight division, shared his thoughts on the upcoming bout between Durbin Davis and Frank Martin. Frank Martin is a tough fighter and tough competitor, but Tank is just Tank, you know what I mean, Ben Ad, as remarked Benavides, expressed uncertainty due to Martin's lack of experience in high-stakes matchups and the unpredictable nature of the fight. I don't know what's going to happen, because we still haven't seen Frank Martin be tested like that in a really big fight, so we have to see how the first couple of rounds go. He added, offering advice to Frank Martin. Benavides emphasized the importance of vigilance throughout the match and seizing the opportunity to turn the fight in his favor. As early as possible, the later it goes, the harder it will become for him. Bav, his caution definitely has to push to the action. He can't wait for Tank because Tank is he's very smart, you know, and he sees a hitter at the end of the day. He has a lot of power, so we're going to have to wait and see how the fight goes in the first couple rounds. But I definitely do think that finally Biddy Turin Crawford's esteemed coach, known for his strategic insights, questioned the timing of Frank Martin's challenge against such a skilled opponent bat, expressed his belief that Martin might be entering a big fight prematurely tanks, definitely going to win that fight, he might even knock him out, it's too soon for Frank Why rush back, remarked with all the predictions hype and the experience gap surrounding this fight. That's it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell for the latest notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.